It's time to bust out the old standalone and uh, test a rogue that's really been giving me problems lately. Antivirus 2010. You're gonna have to excuse the video quality. So right after you run the executable, you get this license agreement that shows up for about half a second, and then you get shown the Antivirus 2010 scanner. And if you've been following rogues for as long as I have, you're gonna notice it looks a little bit like Antivirus 360, which came out something like two years ago. If we look at the My Protection page, you'll see your current security status, everything's green and good. If you look at the Updates Center, it's fake by the way, how can I tell? Well, when I unplug my Ethernet cable, you'll notice that it's still downloading updates. I don't know how it's doing that. Then we look at our settings, there's quite a few things you can uh, set. And you also see that it says PC is ThreatNet at the bottom. And let's go ahead and stop the scan. It found four threats. We're instructed to buy a license. So, let's go ahead and go to the payment page. And you will see that they want to charge me $49.95, which is, you know, a median price for rogues lately. It's not too high, not too low. And yes, this page is secure and has a valid digital certificate. And another thing you're going to notice about this rogue is that it's very tame. It doesn't try to block task manager and it does not try to uh, restrict web use. It doesn't redirect searches or set up local proxy servers or anything like that. It's quite tame. As you'll see me demonstrate here. No proxy server. And another great thing about it is that you can actually close the program from the tray. Right click and select exit, it'll let you completely close out of the program. So, looks pretty good. But let's reboot, see what happens. And it hijacks the wallpaper. Looks pretty good too. Then it shows this stupid alert box which just tells you to run the scanner. Well, didn't we just do that? That's something you see after being infected with like a Trojan and then not having the scanner come up at all. That's ridiculous. Anyway, we'll just go ahead and dismiss it. And the scanner comes up again. And from this point, there's really not much else to look at. And I would also like to say that um, I am still enthusiastic about making videos. It's just that there really hasn't been very many rogues to make videos about over the past about a week or so. So I'm still waiting for something good to come out, but until then, that is it.